what is up guys, Jim and Jets 10 here, and I am back with another unboxing review. It's been a while since I've done one of these. The last one, I believe, was the Emirates Airbus A38800. Uh, Y'all can go check that out. Click my channel bar down below. So, uh, we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the model you see before you here, and that is the American Eagle. Uh, yeah, it's the Bombardi. Wait. I'm either an idiot, or this is a Bombardier, please, if I am an idiot, comment down below. Okay, but we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the American Eagle CRJ200. Apologize if I'm an idiot and mispronouncing that name wrong. I think it's Bombardi. Bombardi? Bombardi? Sure. I'm going to call it the Bombardi. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to call it CRJ200. Okay. So, first of all, let's just go over how small this model is. So, if you all have a Gemini Jets or Dragon Wings 1400MD90... This is what an MD-90 looks like compared to this box. It is small. Uh, so, I haven't taken a look at the model yet. So, uh, first though, we're going to look over the box. Uh, as per usual, I'm going to be pointing out details with a an Air China pen, which isn't really appropriate, but yeah. I figured it's an airline pen, so why the hell not? Also, I just unboxed this model from the packaging. You can see the packaging back there. And what's inside the box number seven. Please guys go click my channel bar down below and uh, check out this video, or check out that video. So, let's get into the box here. Over here we have the beautiful Gemini Jets logo, the slogan, A4 collectors, by collectors, the American Eagle, CRJ200 in the old American Eagle colors. Uh, Bombardi CRJ200 in, um, wording right there. American Eagle title right there. 1400 scale die cast model aircraft. And look inside. We'll take that in a bit. Uh, Gemini Jet stuff. Apparently it's got rolling tires, so we shall see. The flap, we've got Gemini Jet's logo, aircraft, aircraft wording. I don't know why it keeps going out of focus. 1400 skill die cast model, and then the item number, which is GJAAL1272, if you want to check that out. Gemini Jets logo, Gemini Jets warning stuff, and the Gemini Jets barcode, or in the barcode, sorry. Uh, the other flap right here, same as the last one, and we already took a look at the bottom. Okay, I don't know why this stupid thing keeps going out of focus. I might just, okay, I will be right back, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but yeah, looking at the back of the box here, we have the Gemini Jet stuff. We have. I'm gonna turn my flashlight on. I'll be right back. So I'm gonna have to hold the box like this, or else the flashlight's gonna shine right there. So we've the aircraft ascending. With um, yeah, we've got the print of the aircraft descending right there. Gemini Jet's logo. Uh, Gemini Jet stuff. www.facebook.com/slash Gemini Jets. Um, yeah, just more stuff. American Eagle, um, just, yeah, Gemini did stuff. 2016 release, recycle logo, I'm not gonna go over my thing, but don't recycle your boxes, guys, that's all I gotta say. American Airlines officially licensed product. So, let's finally take a look at this beautiful aircraft. Magnificent. Um, here, let me move my... Uh, I'm not gonna do that, but let's move my phone in here for a closer look. If y'all would like to pause and read about both this specific aircraft. Hold on a sec. Oh, for God's sakes, I can't hold my phone. Uh, if y'all want to read about this specific aircraft, there's a little bit of information. Sorry, it's a bit shaky. And if you want to read about the... Bombardi... Jet uh, stuff. So, uh, let's, I guess, open the box now that we've looked it over. Uh, brand new model. This was the... I picked this model up because it was the deal of the day model last Tuesday, I believe. So it's been just over a week. Uh, CRJ200, 1400 tray. There's the beautiful model in the tray. So let's open this model up, move the piece of plastic 
Oh my god, I just dropped it. <laughs> wow. Very, very, very magnificent for such a small model. Gemini Jets, Gemini, you have officially outdone yourself, I believe. Let's see if we can get a focus there. So, let's take a look here at the model. So, again, this is in the old library. Uh, this model, by the way, is about a half an inch long. Uh, for those who can't tell, like, that's my index finger right there, and it's pretty dang short. Um, yeah, if y'all have any 1400s or J200s, y'all obviously know that this is a very, very small aircraft. So, uh, let's get into it. Starting off here, we have the forward door, I believe. No, nope, that's not the boarding door. That would be the catering door. Um, American Eagle wording. There's the cockpit, keto tubes, which are kind of hard to see over the main exit on the right hand side. November, um, November 866 Alpha, I believe S is, uh, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I forgot what S is. It's, uh, I'm not gonna say it wrong. I'm, yeah, I'm not. Um, but yeah, uh, N866AS, the registration number. The right hand engine, American Eagle tail emblem, which is the eagles that are sort of diving, forming sort of like a V, sort of A, upside down A. Yeah. Moving on to the left side of the aircraft, relatively the same, except here we have the boarding door, American Eagle wording, over the wing exit, registration number, left hand engine. See if we can get a focus. There we go. That did a lot better for the lighting. Uh, then we got the cockpit. Y'all can take a little bit of a better look. And y'all may barely be able to see the baggage door underneath the left-hand engine. Looking at the bottom of the aircraft, sadly, no gear door imprints. And for whatever stupid reason, the stand hole is filled with fucking chrome. How fun. So, um, I will never probably put this on a stand, since my airport no longer has a runway. But, yeah. Uh, there's the bottom of the aircraft. Got the Gemini Just logo, stand hole, wing landing gears, and the nose landing gear. This is, I'm sorry guys, a really, this is a really small model and it's hard to hold and stuff. Uh, looking at the top of the aircraft here. Uh, various lights, antennas, and wording on the roof of the aircraft. But yeah, that was sort of a really shitty model review, so I apologize. But that'll just about do it for this model review. So this aircraft is most likely going to operate to smaller airports around Texas. Uh, that was one of the main reasons I bought this aircraft was to operate to smaller airports. Uh, example... Waco, Temple, Colleen, uh, what else? El Paso, Brownsville, Corpus Christi, um, Odessa, Laredo, I don't know if I said Laredo or not, I think I might have, if I am, I'm sorry, I'm an idiot, um, yeah, stuff like, <laughs> stuff like that, but yeah guys, um, that's the main reason that I bought this model. It makes a great addition to the American Airlines fleet of aircraft and made a decent replacement for this MD-90 right here. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you all so very much for watching. I really hope you guys all enjoy it, and I will talk to you guys all later. Goodbye.